my name is Esther. And we are the Wamagata. Period. Talking about like kind of like the hardships in, in being a Christian because I know you guys know these hardships. We just want to bring them to light. We just want to say that you are not alone. We just want to remind you that the Lord is with you the same way we are with you. And some people have been looking at us and like some people tell me, oh, like Esther, you're so in tune with God. <laughs> guys, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? He out here struggling. Exactly. What do you mean? Like, <laughs> no. Like, everybody's struggling. Everybody's going through something. Okay. Everybody's trying to figure out life. So let me tell you the funniest thing I've ever heard from somebody. Like, mm -hmm. uh, give, like, like, I was, like, trying to convince her to come to Christ. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> and you know what she tells me? No. So we were talking about purity because she used to like kind of hang out with boys and stuff like that. So we were talking about purity and stuff like that. And she told me like, Christmas dream man, don't got you. Like, I, I don't I don't know if you want to go to the I was like, like, she was, it's like, she was trying to say like, I don't have those feelings. Like, she completely, like, she literally sat there and tried yeah. to tell me like, well, Grace, you don't know what I'm talking about because you don't get those feelings. And I'm sitting there like, am I not human? Let me tell you, Jesus said, I'll not take them out of this world, but I will give them, I, I'm paraphrasing, don't come for me, but I'll give them kind of like the grace to survive in it. Right. Like, so we're supposed to be in the world, so. Yo, yo. <laughs> the less struggles are to be like, yeah. as a Christian, I'm we going through them, them too. But the difference is how, I think how we deal with them, because I yeah. deal with them in a the point of I go to God and I'm like, God, oh God. It, I messed up here, I did this, or I feel like doing this, but yeah. I know you don't allow it, so yeah. how, like, help me, me you know grace. what I mean? That's the only difference. But my guy, what you feel is what, I, what feel. I feel. Like. Maybe two what? times harder. <laughs> Maybe! Yeah! Twice as hard! I'm saying that Shetani and Akujanga now are Juku Wake. Wake! 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 What? You know that verse that says, like, mm -hmm. like the, the time. So, you know, like, it's like a journey, so. It, it never it's never like you you kick the demon away mm -hmm. and it goes away forever it comes It'll go back. Back, but it, even a verse says it goes and when it lacks another place to say it comes back with its seven like is it a, seven times yeah i'll, I'll find i'll put yeah. the verse right here but it comes back harder at you the next thing you just know <laughs> i be calling my sister my triple triple up. Up. intensity man i remember this one time i called my sister i was like is that <laughs> She's laughing because she knows. <laughs> I called her, I started asking her about her generation. I was like, is there a spirit of immorality in our family? Because if I didn't see my family, it had to be something else involved. Like, it can't be a thing. It can't be it can't just a just No, no, no. That's a demons I need to know and fight against because oh I God. am going to try and fight up and I just yeah. don't know more on this. I do know what my this cousin is. Do you know what the scripture says? <laughs> do you know what the scripture says, yeah. Ati? Like, Ati Akuna, there is no temptation that's brought to you that God has not tested and like measured. Yeah. Like it's not beyond you. Like God has tested and seen. Like you know what? This 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 guy, this person can can be able to pass this test. Yeah. As I am just like I move. What are you leaping my weight quickly? Like I am a even letter a graduate. Now the scale was not working. <laughs> scale. I think it looked quite like a little. I also up and I think like one of the things that I've come to realize like. Just about salvation and just like Christianity. Mm -hmm. It's literally about relationship. Yeah. Like yeah. Like if you if you go to Genesis, like God, the first th <laughs> the first thing that God does is He tries to form a relationship, because I think I think 
once you have intimacy and you are with a person, yeah. there's that element that you want to protect this person. Like mm -hmm. you will do everything that you need to do mm -hmm. to protect them, to love them, to mm -hmm. care for them. Mm -hmm. Like your heart is just so in tune with this person right. that you just, there's nothing you wouldn't give because love is about sacrifice. Right. And when God was trying to create that fellowship and relationship, then the devil comes and messes it, and messes it up. Yeah. And the aspect of relationship was taken away. Yeah. Because a, uh, um, Adam was no longer accessible to God. They were already out of the presence of mm. God. And that is why now, like as men, we, we now have to... God already did his thing by sending Jesus Christ to, yeah. you know, like come and cultivate that relationship. Mm. Now it's for us to now start pursuing God because he's already pursued us and in pursuing God like guys Hakuna Venya it's like and this is what I tell people like if you love a person yeah you will see an attractive person but are you going to act on it? Mean? yeah you know. no you're not because <clears throat> you love and respect that person and I feel like it's even disrespectful yeah to act on such things you know what I mean exactly like being, so. being saved does not make us blind to the things of the world it doesn't make us blind to the pleasures of the world. Know that love is the greatest thing that God gave us because like once you understand the element and the aspect of love mm -hmm. and how to love a person or even how to love God, mm -hmm. then nothing becomes too big to leave. Right. Nothing becomes exactly. it's just like when you just, oh, really, yeah. really love a person mm -hmm. and you could propose here, yeah, you mm -hmm. say yes and then mm -hmm. you'll be like, you know what, I'm I'll going leave to leave family. my family. Mm -hmm. Like bro, I'm leaving people that I've been with for twenty four years of my life right. who've seen me through the worst and the best and they've still supported me. Right. And I'm coming to live with you. Right. Like I would imagine like the intensity but of But I feel like love. I feel like that's the thing. Like God's love is so magnificent that even when we do mess up, like his grace covers everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he gave us grace, like even to keep mess up. Yeah. He's like, okay, you messed up. That's cool. Oh, baby. I'm forgiven. But the funny thing about grace is like the grace of God is sufficient enough. It says the grace is enough to cover anything, but it doesn't cancel out the consequences. We of would know. <laughs> so yes, he'll forgive you. Yeah. But the consequences, baby. Yeah. Like that one guy, I remember there was this one guy my that my mom always gave us an example of. He was born again and everything, and then he, he, he messed around and he slept with somebody who had HIV and AIDS. Right? Mm -hmm. He stepped out and he slept with somebody who had HIV and AIDS, and he didn't know that at the time. And he was a really born again Christian dedicated to God and everything. And then he, he went back to God, but the HIV was already there. It's not gonna go away. I mean, God has you do miracles, but he forgave you. Gonna, he forgave you. Be a and his grace is sufficient. But the consequences are there. Mm -hmm. Just like when Uria, David slept with Uriah's yeah. wife. Aliambiwa, yes, yes, I forgive you. But the sword of the sword of bara, the sword of war. Yeah, the Yoroa bara yeah. will always be in your in your house. In your house, like. And no wonder he couldn't build now the temple for God. Right. So his son had to do it. Mm -hmm. But all we're saying is that salvation is not perfect. And, salvation, and it's not easy. Bro, you know what's crazy? I think people think like salvation is for people who are perfect, people who don't mess up. Let me tell you. It's for the imperfect people. Paul writes to say that he's the worst of, he's the least, is it least of all or worst of all? Worst of all. Yeah. But like, if you, if you think about Paul and the books he's written and the things that he did for mm -hmm. God, you're like, how can you be the worst of uh, worst you've of done all? such, you know, and you've done things. like, like you, but he's like, he's trying to compare who he is mm -hmm. and what who God, God is, is doing in his life. So mm -hmm. what God does is he takes a person who's messed up. Like mm -hmm. he takes your messy self. He, takes, right. he took my messy self right. and then he now starts to fix me and mm -hmm. to mold me to become the ideal person that he wanted me to be. Mm -hmm. And now when people look at me, they'll look at me and be like, yo, this girl is perfect. This girl has it together. She's this and this and this. But baby, no, it's not me. It's no, just the see. glory of God which covers me. Now maybe it's like, you know, Siku, I'm fighting no, my yeah. own battles. Like I'm going through my <laughs> right. own things. Like, right. bro, baby, like depression, I hit mm -hmm. real hard. But like, because the grace is there and the glory is there, hakuna venue tanyangali will say, you demon akai, you demon akai, you demon akai. No, because the glory of God will protect me and the glory of God will sustain me in my struggle. No wonder itafika mahali nitatokea in whatever situation I'm going through, nitatokea and I'll come out even looking more better, more blessed, more 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 favored. Like mungu kama tu me sprinkle another glory on me because I may take. Because even through the fire, mm -hmm. alikuana mimi. Not because I'm so good. Right. No, like mind you, I'm still making messes. Right. But because it's grace is sufficient. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, it's, it's funny. Just like Speaking that. of imperfections, let's talk about David, right? David was the most 
Like this man tripping. This man. This man tripping. This man was doing crazy. He was doing the most. Like, like, like what? It's funny. He knew he was chosen. He was chosen since he was a kid. Yeah. Right? And he knew that. And he stayed in the temple with Saul. So he knew for yeah. a fact yeah. he's a king. He's supposed to be a king. So he's supposed to act like a king. But the things he was doing, you're like, it's like baby. Hey, honey, so, I don't know. Do you I don't not, know. Do you not understand? I can't believe you said you're funny. I can't believe But what's funny is, yeah. God still goes back and says, I've, I've, I've found a man after my own heart. And Can that's like. Man, that's like my daily, daily prayer. I'm like, God, with all my imperfections, yeah. with all my messes, I want you to sit down and say, I found a girl after my own heart. Yeah. Like, I know I'm not perfect, and I know there's things I do that God is like, ah, well, well. Yeah. Do you know? Not like, your man. Right. Like, it's like, do you know who I've called you to be? Mm-hmm. God never, oh my gosh, I was listening to this uh, sermon with Pastor Apostle Joshua Selman. Yeah. I think how he, I was listening to his testimony, how yeah. he was sick. Have you listened to it? No. He, he had like a problem with his head or something, like it was, it was like a fungal infection mm-hmm. on his head. Mm-hmm. So kids didn't want to be his friend. He used mm-hmm. to eat alone. Pared alikuwa na sumama nyuma peke, no matter how early he came. Like he was in that stage where it was just him. So he learned yeah. how to talk to the Holy Spirit and that's how he, and that's why he is the person he yeah. is today. Yeah. So you're like, Regardless of what he went through, God never shows you who you're going to be, but he takes you through the process, building you and, yeah. and building your your character and everything. And then later on, you're like, God, that's why I was going yeah. through that. That's why I was struggling with uh, purity because you wanted me to be a teacher to, to, to young generations. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, bro, like everything. I think like Nikwa Eskiza, like when Boyazak art, and he was talking about like how he saved and mm-hmm. like, they call you foolish, mm. like, cause you don't, you don't, you don't do the things. The do the things that the thing world, that the world does, does. Mm-hmm. man. Some parties I can't even go to, cause and it sucks, man. You, like, it's funny. Not because y'all think we like, don't want to turn up. <laughs> like you think I don't want to, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you think I don't want to have fun. Like, I don't like, wanna, do all that. like sometimes it's like, what I carry does not allow me to be in certain places. Abu, Abu, just let's just pause on that, right? Cause like, Abu. the God in me. Will not like. Have y'all ever been somewhere, and your spirit is not resting? It's just like grace, go. Like literally, it's like the spirit is crying in you. It's like grace, please go, go. Like the God in you will not allow you to take to take him to somewhere. To some and the thing is, if you go, he'll leave, because he won't fight. He's not a fighter. He's a very peaceful. Holy Spirit is a very peaceful person. So Ukikata, when you refuse to leave where he's not comfortable, he'll leave. Getting him is hard. Maintaining that, maintaining that is hard. harder. Yeah, right. So I'm like, do I really want to restart start the process? Oh no, maybe. No. Nika, no. when we're with a person now, the more you're with them, like in Africa, Mali, you you're with that person twenty four seven, and it's just the same thing with God. Right. Like the more you're with him, the more he demands of you, right. and it's not like, and he makes your heart soft enough that as he ask, he's asking. For for it mm-hmm. you have he gives you the capacity to give that to right. him and now you find that like man was it like god on our family like i say you can't do this anymore like i know the world does it and i know some christians do it but i don't want you doing that right. you can't do this anymore you mm-hmm. can't do this anymore and sometimes it's like god and what's funny bro, is una like, nitisha kila kitu sasa surely and you know what's crazy it's like, it's about no, that like man. the one thing you posted it's about love it's was saying love is not an emotion love is a choice let me tell you guys there's times you wake up and you're like god this salvation thing it's just not let's it. talk about it let's have a committee yeah we, 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 we need to talk mm-hmm. you're like god i've sacrificed so much but i'm like sometimes you feel like it's not working out yeah you're like i've, I've let go of so many people but it feels like it's not working out i'm like god are you are you I was telling, we were talking about something like, God, is God still shuffling my cards right? Did he miss a card? Yes. Did he, he miss deal a <laughs> like, Reshuffle. <laughs> like, I need a reshuffle. Come on. But I'm like, regardless of what it is, yeah. I still choose to love you. Because mm. imagine if it was an emotion. I even said, you know how many times I wake up and my like, oh God, I <laughs> the minute not did, feeling the it. The minute he didn't do something the way I wanted it, I would have been like, I, I'm done. But it's a choice. I'm like, yeah. I, I choose to I choose love to you love today. you. I choose to follow you. Mm-hmm. I choose to be obedient to your voice. Right. And so it's just like every day waking up and choosing him. And even on the days that you don't choose him, right. like men, like he still chooses you. Man. Nah.